Hi everyone, my name is Vibhu and today I'm here to present our paper, Counterfactual Explanations for Visual Recommender Systems. Consider a user who frequents this online fashion marketplace. In today's information age where user decisions are informed by these large-scale recommender systems, it is increasingly important for users to understand and trust these systems. We aim to provide counterfactual explanations for the recommendations provided by large-scale visual recommender systems. A counterfactual explanation reveals what should have been different in an instance in order to observe a different outcome. Our method caviar creates a counterfactual image for an item by perturbing the original image. We try to find the minimal perturbation that we can make to the original item image, such that this new item is no longer recommended to the user. We then see which features are present in the original image that are no longer present in this new counterfactual image and try to formulate an explanation around this difference. We see two examples of caviar in action on this slide. In the example on the left, we have an original image of a white shirt with long sleeves. Under the hood, Caviar creates a black shirt with long sleeves and finds that this new item is no longer recommended to the user. It then formulates a counterfactual explanation that says, if the item had the color black instead of white, it would not have been recommended. For our base recommender system, we make use of VBPR, but our method is quite general and can explain any recommendation system that uses Clip as its image encoder. The reason we use Clip as our image encoder is because we are able to directly measure how an image grades on a particular feature before and after perturbation by simply comparing its embedding to the Clip text embeddings of these features. We formulate our problem by first curating a list of visual features that depends on the domain. For simplicity, assume these list of features to be color and sleeve. For each visual feature, we have a list of visual sub-features. For color, these could be red, blue, green, or various other colors. A feature becomes a part of our explanation only if the majority sub-feature changes for the original image and the counterfactual image. For example, if for the original image, the majority sub-feature was red, and for the counterfactual image, it is now green, this becomes a part of our explanation. To find the optimal perturbation, we minimize the novel loss function consisting of three terms, L1, L2, and L3. L1 ensures that the item is removed from the user's top K list, that is, the item is no longer recommended to the user. L2 ensures that the magnitude of perturbation is as small as possible, and L3 ensures that there is minimal overlap between the majority sub-features before and after perturbation. This slide shows a simple example of caviar in action. For evaluation, we use three metrics, fidelity, explanation fidelity, and explanation number. The first two metrics try to measure whether or not we are able to provide a suitable explanation for a large fraction of items in our data set, while the third metric measures the conciseness of our explanation. We compare our results with two baselines that we run and define by ourselves and find that our proposed method outperforms these baselines on most of our defined metrics. We also perform a qualitative analysis of our explanations by masking an item that the user has previously reviewed and liked and comparing our explanation to the user's review. We find a strong overlap between the two. Thank you for your time.